Welcome to Act Notes Tutorials, my name is Shelly, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the Proposal Compliance Matrix. What is a Proposal Compliance Matrix? A Proposal Compliance Matrix is a cross-reference table that tells proposal evaluators where they can find responses to specific requests for proposal requirements. It helps ensure proposal managers that the proposal responds to and complies with all the proposal requirements. A compliance matrix should form part of each proposal volume and is normally requested in an request for proposal. What is the definition? A proposal compliance matrix maps request for proposal requirements to the proposal outline to ensure all request for proposal requirements are addressed and the customer knows where to find those addressed requirements. Here is a basic example of a proposal compliance matrix. There are normally four sections in a proposal compliance matrix. Section 1 shows the page location within the proposal where a particular requirement is addressed. Section 2 provides details on what the actual requirement states, normally the exact wording found in the statement of work or request for proposal is used in this section. Section 3 shows where the requirement is listed, in either the statement of work or the request for proposal, section L or section M. And finally section 4, the comment section. This section is where the technical leads or program manager can provide any comments they deem necessary to help with proposal development. Normally the comments are deleted before the proposal is sent to the customer. These are normally the basic sections that are contained in a proposal compliance matrix but many more sections can be added that are deemed useful. What is the purpose of a proposal compliance matrix? A proposal compliance matrix has four purposes. 1. It shows you what requirements must be addressed in a given section. 2. It enables you to validate that all requirements have been responded to. 3. It makes it easier for you, and potentially your customer, to understand the request for proposal and how to navigate your response. And finally 4. It helps the request for proposal respondent create a proposal outline to ensure everything is addressed. How do you develop a proposal compliance matrix? A proposal compliance matrix should be started at the very beginning of proposal writing and should list all the requirements contained in the proposal outline for each volume. The compliance matrix should include the elements for both the request for proposal and the proposal response. The technical writers for each proposal section are responsible for identifying the specific location of the proposal requirements. Once the proposal is written, the technical writers should verify that full compliance has been achieved and that the compliance matrix is complete and accurate. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the proposal compliance matrix. For more information, to include templates and examples, please visit the webpage. Congratulations on finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.